Hey everyone, it's Liz and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a random facts about me video and every single product that I put on my face um, while I'm getting ready with you is going to be a random fact. And if you're new, then these are definitely all random. Um, it's definitely something new. And if you're not, then maybe you knew a couple of things about me. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Do you? I don't know. <laughs> so if you're new, don't forget to subscribe before you watch this video. I do beauty and fashion videos. I'm going to be having more videos very, very soon. I'm going to be doing haul videos very, very soon. I'm going to be doing a lot. So you have my word right here. I said it right here. I said it now. I'm going to be doing a lot more videos because I've been slacking way bad. Anyway. Don't forget to thumbs up if you like this challenge, and yeah, definitely I tag you, so go ahead and do it. And I want to see videos, so send me your About Me videos that you do in this way. I'm going to try to do this like every product that I put on, I'm going to say like a fact about me. So sit down, relax, and just chill. We are about to get into this video, and I hope that you guys really enjoy this, and I, f I hope that, you know, you get to know me a little bit better, you know, because I've been on here for a while, and I feel like I haven't really done, like, a ton of get to know me videos. So, this is a bunch of facts about me. Yay! Alright, first thing I'm going to be doing is spraying my face with this Garnier Skin active smoothing facial mist and I guess this can be fact number one <laughs> I love any products with rose in it I just fully believe so much in rose like I, I just I love it there's a product from fresh oh it's the mask and it has rose in it and after I use that I swear my skin just feels so nice and so smoothing it just feels like amazing you know so I love I love roses Ooh. <laughs> I also really love roses as flowers too as well I think one of my favorite flowers is roses I just love rose love it love the smell love everything so this is also going to be about new products that I have just bought as well um, just because I have been shopping a lot and yeah so this is my next product <laughs> this is the Becca First light priming filter, instant complexion refresh. So fact number two is that I really, really, really love vintage items. I am such a vintage girl, like, I just, I love it. I, I swear I was just born in the wrong era. <laughs> like, I should have been born in like the 1920s or 30s, 40s, 50s, like anything that has to do with vintage and like those eras is just my favorite. I love it. I'm obsessed. But I'm also very modern at the same time, so I don't know. Yeah. Next product that I'm going to be using is the Becca Under Eye Brightening Concealer. This is amazing. I love it. It helps get rid of my dark circles and yeah, I just love it. So next fact is, if you don't know, if you're new here, <laughs> I have a dog and her name is Lily Rose. Once again, there's roses again. Um, she is a King Charles Cavalier Spaniel. She's the cutest thing in the whole entire world. And not just that, but she has an amazing personality. Yes, my dog has an amazing personality. I think that she's just the sweetest thing ever. She loves people. Like, I have to stop and wait and like when I'm taking her out and if she sees a person down the street she will stop and wait for them until they come over to her and say hello like she's a neighborhood greeter I swear like she she's just the best okay next product that I'm going to be using is the Dr Maybelline Dream BB Fresh. It's an 8-in-1 beauty bomb skin perfecter and I've been using this for like about maybe like two months now. This is my this is a new bottle 
and I actually really really love it. It has pomegranate extract which I think is new because when this first came out I hated it. I didn't like it at all. It gave me zits and I was like nope bye threw it away. So now that it's new it's like a new formula. It's new and better. It says it right on the packaging. <laughs> it's actually it's one of my favorites and I use this as an everyday uh, BB cream. Especially since it has like SPF in it and stuff too as well, which is really good. So my next fact is, hmm, ooh, I have, a, I have a good one. I love horseback riding. So I used to do horseback riding when I was younger. I didn't like compete professionally or anything like that. It was just something that I liked to do. I would go trail riding with my family and everything. Like I I just I love horses <laughs> so so much. They're like one of my favorite creatures. Like I swear, oh, I just love them. And I really really miss it and I keep on telling myself I'm going to go and I never do and I this this year I swear I'm going to go horseback riding again because I just miss it that much. Yes. And it was a lot of fun too when I was younger because I have like a stable near me and I, it was kind of like it was my horse but it wasn't my horse but like I would take care of it every single time when I went um, horseback riding when I did lessons and everything and I got to brush down the horse his name was Fred and then I also rode one named Casey too as well. Next product that I've been using which is also kind of like new to my beauty routine is the NYX HD Studio photogenic concealer and I've heard that this is kind of like a dupe for the um, Makeup Forever HD concealer. Honestly, I like it but I don't love love it but I, I really do like it and I've been using it every day so obviously I like it more than I think I like it kind of thing, you know? <laughs> okay, so next fact is that I am actually half black and half white. I'm a lot of different things, so ready, hold your horses, ready. <laughs> so I'm African American, Caribbean American, like half and half from there. And then I am uh, Italian and Irish mainly, but I also have a little bit of French and a little bit of Scottish in me too as well. And probably like 10 million other things too. Um, so yeah, I am... I am a half C and I am a lot of different things. I get a lot um, that I'm Dominican. Um, I guess maybe because I have curl of hair, but girl, look at look at my skin. I am pale. I'm so so pale. <laughs> um, but I usually get that I'm Dominican or some kind of uh, Spanish, Hispanic. One time I got that and someone thought I was Greek, and I was like, ooh, I like that. And like that's really cool. Um, so yeah, I get, I get a lot of different things, a lot, which is really funny to me, and I always ask people, like, what they think I am. So, leave a comment down below what you think, before I even said that, what do you think that I, uh, what was my nationality, what do you think I am? My, I mean, sorry, ethnicity, nationality, I'm American, but, <laughs> but what, what do you think my ethnicity was before I said anything? Next product I'm going to be using is the MAC and Patrick Star collaboration. This is the translucent powder. Absolutely been loving this. I've been using this every single day. I usually just take a sponge and a dry one and just put it on so I can bake. Yes, I do bake every single day. What's a Okay, here's a little fact because that that was really really quick. Here, I'll I'll powder the rest of my face. Um, ba -da -ba -da -bum -bum. One of my favorite places is Disney. I love Disney so much and I haven't been for a while because of school and everything but now that I'm out of school I hope that I can go back to Disney really really soon and once again with the whole like vintage thing they have this day called Dapper Day in Disney and I really really want to go like but I have, to, I have to make an outfit though that's the only thing. It's like when people get dressed up in like 1950s and like with the skirts and everything and just they Disney bound but in a generation so like they Disney bound in like 1950s so like someone will make a like a bell dress but like do it as like a 1950s style just go on Instagram and look up on the hashtags just look up um 
Dapper Day. Actually, you can just look up Dapper Day. I'm sure everything will come up. Or Dapper Day Disney. And you will see all the amazing outfits. People go all out. <laughs> Absolutely love it. It's really, really cool. So next up, I'm just going to do, like... Now, I'm not going to do that, like, big of, like, a smoky look or anything like that. Just because I'm making this kind of a little bit more natural. Um, but I am going to be using the Kylie Cosmetics. Um, but this is her new, this is the Calm Before the Storm palette. And I actually really, really love it. And brings me to my next fact. Woo! So I went to school for fashion design. And I, um, for my senior collection, I did a whole collection based off of thunderstorms and how they are created, how they move. Sorry, my camera just shut off. So like about thunderstorms and how they move and how they are created and just everything in between. Cause I, I used to hate, hate thunderstorms. I hated lightning, I hated thunderstorms, I just hated it all because I was really scared of it and I didn't know, you know, what was going on. Um, and uh, yeah, so, but I, I fell in love with them after, you know, 20 something years or whatever, you know, um, but I love thunderstorms and yeah. And I'm going to put up some pictures right now of all the looks. My favorite look was my finale look, of course. And um, one of my best friends, Taylor, is modeling in it and it's like the best thing ever. Like, oh, I love that look so, so much. It's just my favorite. It's my favorite. Um... I'm also going to use a little bit of the Huda Beauty palette. This is the Desert Dust palette because I love this thing so much. It's amazing. Okay, so actually while I have this, I'll, I'll say another fact. Mm. Oh, another random fact about me is that I can hit a high C. If you don't know what a high C is, it's like singing and it's a really, really high pitched, you know, high C. And honestly... I debated whether or not I should do this in the video, and I'm not going to, just in case if someone's wearing headphones, and I would hate to literally, like, wreck their eardrums. <laughs> so if I ever go live or anything like that one time, just someone bring it up, and I will totally hit a high C for you. <laughs> so in this palette, I'm just gonna do, I'm using Amber, which is this really pretty um, orange color, and I'm just putting that all over my lid. And then I'm also going to use cashmere, which is right in the corner, and I'm going to put that in my inner corners. Perfect! Also, I forgot to mention, I also did my eyebrows off camera because those are going to take like forever, so did that off camera. So next up, I'm going to be using my Becca, I always forget this one, this is the Apres. I think that's how you pronounce it, a Pre-Ski Glow Face Palette. This was like from Christmas um, time and it's actually, it's one of my favorite palettes. I really, really love it. I use it every single day. Oh, but actually, I'm going to use my highlight first then. I'll do highlight first because I have a new blush that I want to use. So I, I usually just combine um, the gold and the pink blush. I mean, just getting highlight um, up in the corner. I'm just going to do a, a slight glow today oh my random fact okay so let's see what's another random fact about me I really stink at this don't I um, another random fact a really quick one is my favorite color is pink I love pink so much um, you will literally see that all over my room and um, more in my clothes now too as well so I love pink my next product I'm going to be using is e the flower it's the brand called Flower, and it's really cute, and it's a rose, like, oh my gosh, I wish you guys could see this right now, it's so cute, I'm gonna have a post, I'm gonna have a picture up on my Instagram, because it's just that cute, um, this color is in Sweet Pea, Sweet Pea, alright, alright, oh, next random fact about me is that I am 5'9", um, so, when I was younger, I, I did sports, um, was I really good at them? No, not really. Uh, <laughs> I liked art more than sports, honestly, but I did sports, and I actually, I did like volleyball a lot, though. Um, volleyball was, like, one of my favorite things, but I also played basketball, and you would think 
being 5'9". I was like 5'9 when I was in middle school. Like, no lie. I was probably like 5'8 when I was in middle school. So, everyone will want me on their team because I'm so tall. But I honestly was the worst player. <laughs> I was so terrible. Well, I guess my next fact could be that I am trying to learn French. I... It's very hard, honestly. Um, I have an app on my phone that, like, is kind of... It's called... What is it called? Duolingo or something like that. And... Du Duolingo. Duolingo. <coughs> I think I just swallowed some dust. <laughs> oh my god, excuse me. Oh, there goes my eyes. Oh my god. <laughs> my god. Okay, anyway, trying to learn French. <laughs> Oh my god, as I choke on air. Okay, okay. Um, it's where. <coughs> there it goes again. There it goes. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Je m'appelle Elizabeth. E2. I know, like, bonjour, au revoir. C'est bon. Ne voulez vous manger avec moi? Which is, would you like to go eat with me? Um, I'm trying, I'm learning fruits. Like, I know, well, I know, like, palm is apple. That's about it. Yeah, doing well there. I'm doing well. Put some mascara on. Um, my next random fact is uh, my first person that I've ever watched on YouTube, which I believe it's like kind of like my first two, like, I guess you could say beauty guru, because I don't know my whole YouTube past um, when I was younger, but I specifically remember that I watched Juicy Star 07 videos religiously, and I still do. Love Juicy Star. Love Blair. It's her birthday today. Happy birthday, Blair. It's April Fool's Day. And it's also Easter today as well. <laughs> um, I used to watch her religiously and I used to watch Michelle Fawn religiously. And those are like kind of like the two people that kind of taught me how to do makeup. Um, like kind of like the basics of makeup, you know, which was like really, really cool. And ones that inspired me to start my channel, which I started in 2010 so this channel uh not this channel but me as a channel <laughs> has been on youtube since 2010 so that's eight years and actually it was the eighth year in january i believe i think that's when i first first started which is crazy to me i was in the 10th grade when i started youtube i was afraid to tell my friends and afraid to tell everybody at school, so I didn't. Um, I got around a thousand subscribers on my second channel. My first channel I had <laughs> was Hollywood Glam Star. Great name, I know. Because uh, I was like, oh, what should I name my channel, you know? And I was like, oh, let's do Hollywood Glam Star. Because uh, I love Hollywood, I love glamour, and my favorite shape is a star. So I was like, yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah, definitely should have just used my name from the beginning, um, but I didn't. And then I had um, a channel that was called Miss Universal Beauty, which should have just stuck with that. And then uh, I got like a thousand, like around like a thousand five hundred subscribers or something like that on that channel. And I was like. <sighs> No, I just want to use my name. So I used, I made another channel and used my name. And then about three months later, you know, YouTube comes out and is like, we're letting you change your channel name once. And I was like, oh my god, YouTube, you couldn't tell me this like two months ago? Mm, yeah, thanks. And uh, sad story, can't get into that channel. Yeah. Don't know, don't, I uh, can't get into my, that channel. So, I've been trying to get back my subscribers uh, since then, which is really, really hard. Um, but it's okay, it's slow rolling right now, it's alright, you know? So, <laughs> I'm thankful for what I have. I think I have like 630 or something like that last time I checked, which was like amazing. I, that's still 600 people that have subscribed to me, it's nuts, okay? Crazy to me. I'm thankful for that. <laughs> Alrighty, next fun fact. Um, and I put my lipstick on. Oh, also I used the Bad Girl Lash by Benefit. 
and that's new to me too as well. Um, I got it like a few weeks ago and I've been using it like off and on. Yeah, I like it and I don't like it at the same time. I think it's a little too wet. Honestly, I wish it would, I wish more product would come off on the brush, but I do like the formula and it gives my lashes appearance of being very, very long. So I like that. Um, this next thing I got in a Christmas set, this is the Stila Stay All Day Lip Liner in the color, oh my god, Zin Fettel? Zin Fettel? I don't really know. Mm -hmm. Another random fact about me, if you couldn't tell, my favorite actor, actress, sorry, is Audrey Hepburn. I love Audrey Hepburn. I've seen all of her movies. She's my favorite. My favorite movie is Breakfast at Tiffany's. I adore. Adore. This is really hard to talk and do lip liner at the same time. Uh, it's my favorite, favorite movie, and whenever I feel like sad or down or anything like that, I always watch Breakfast at Tiffany's. It's like my favorite. Bon ami. Bon ami. By Stila. My next random fact about me is that I love chocolate. Chocolate is my favorite thing in the entire world. If I could live off of one thing, it would probably be chocolate. I just, I love it. I love chocolate so much. My favorite is Kit Kats or anything that's like chocolate and peanut butter. Like, I love Take Five bars. Favorite thing ever. Like, I love it so much. <gasps> Yay. I think I'm done. One more fact for my setting spray. Woo! Okay, so my last fun fact is... Oh, another random fact about me, which I don't, I don't know if this is something to be quite proud of or not, but I've watched the Click movie probably at least like 50 times and I can definitely recite the whole entire movie for you. Yeah. I love The Click. My favorite books when I was younger was The Click. Uh, Nasty Block was like my idol and that whole group of friends were like my idol and I love it so so much. Even though I'm 23, I don't care. I still watch that video and it's my favorite of all time. That and the Bratz movie. Two movies I could probably recite the whole entire thing. Yeah. I love it. I'm, I'm still a kid at heart, you know. Woo, so that is it. Wow, I look pale. Man. So that is it. Those are my random facts about me. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this. And yeah, now I tag you there, whoever is watching right now, to do a facts about you while doing your makeup. And every single product, you have to say a new random fact. I think that'll be kind of fun, you know? Kind of fun to do. Kind of fun to learn about people and like different random things, you know? Yeah. Sorry my facts weren't that, like, super interesting. Like, I don't know. Do you guys have any interesting facts? If so, definitely leave them down below in the comments. Like, write, like, five random facts about you, because I want to know. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and thumbs up if you like. And, yeah, that's it. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!